Hi guys. Doing another coffee time with Cobra. Unfortunately, this one's going to be a real quick one because I have to run to the airport to pick up my girlfriend who is going to be here at 7.30 tonight and it is just turned 11 in the afternoon in the morning I should say and so uh, I'm having a cup of coffee looking dapper as I always do and so I'm just waiting on my lunch to get uh, heated up and so hey 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 tss, 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 out of it naughty boy you know better than that <sighs> so yeah lighting in here is horrible there we go hello how are you I know I shaved even got a haircut what do you think? I want this. This is nothing. I used to look like this every day back in England. Thinking I was a goon, so. And yes, I do have my pocket watch. I need the chicken sizzling. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, I am alive, and yes, there is graffiti on the door. Don't ask. Just don't ask. I have a, an artist friend of mine by the name of Clark. He, uh, when the urge gets to him, he just grabs paint and just starts painting whatever it is he's painting. And uh, it so uh, just happened that he wanted to paint the doors in my house. So <laughs> he nailed my kitchen door, my uh, emergency door, and uh, my bedroom door and my basement door. So, I have no idea what this is, but it looks... But it's my lunch. Uh, it's leftovers from last night. So I've got this to eat, and a cup of coffee. Oh, I love my coffee. And so, that's my lunch. And then I will be getting ready to... Uh, Hmm. I'll be getting ready to uh, head up north to uh, Salt Lake International Airport to pick up my girlfriend. And um, yeah, so I'll probably add that on to this bit here. So I'm gonna jump cut here. So hey guys, told you I'd be doing an update for the video. And well, here's the update. We're about to uh, head down there. And I'm more worried about tire pressures right now, so I'm just double checking the tires. You always want to double check your vehicle's tires. If they look good. Our alarm's going off. So I do know that I have to do an oil change on the big beast, on the battle wagon, on the Ryo baby when we get home. So I'll be doing that. Probably, uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next clip, guys. I almost forgot something. Bye. Hey, guys, update we are in a middle of a smoke haze field. Provo, see? That's what's left of the mountains that you can barely see. It's the uh, pollution and the haze and a whole bunch of other things as well. We made it good. It's 4.44, so we made some really good time. It's going to be about an hour, an hour and a half to uh, uh, Salt Lake Salt Lake International Airport uh, if traffic keeps going the way it's going. Um, we've got a whole bunch of weekenders. That's uh, guys with their rock crawlers and their campers and their trailers and whatnot all wanting to, uh, you know, get the hell out and go rock crawling, etc, 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 etc. And so I figured, what the hey, stop, <sighs> refill my uh, to-go drink. I 
This is full of uh, Gatorade. Garbage bag. And so yeah, we're just chilling, having a quick minute to ourselves. Did some good time through the canyon. There was some construction. Uh, slowed us down a little bit, but we did make up for some really good time uh, driving. Now normally, I, I really don't like being up here for a whole bunch of reasons. Um, as I said in my last Coffee Time with Cobra in the kitchen, where I explained uh, if, uh, if they did drop a nuke, you know, at Hill Air Force Base, you know, the whole Provo Canyon would, would absorb the majority of the fallout and the shockwave, which it would. Um, but where I'm at right now, Provo, it wouldn't. Uh, do, I, do I constantly think about, you know, large cities getting whacked with nukes? Not really. But I'm just saying from a, from a tactical point of view, from a, from a military point of view, usually large populations are usually the first place that gets hit. And so, yeah. Oh, and the camera just fell. Oh, there we go. And so, yeah. I am looking at upgrading a camera, getting a second camera, getting an up, up, upgrade. Uh, this is only, I think, 18 or 20 megapixel. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a, a 30 to 40 megapixel uh, camera. You know, one of the, the proper high-end ones. But uh, that's on the back burner for now. Um, right now, upgrades-wise for the for Project Yag Tiger, uh, I'm going to be needing, um, let's see, an 850 Evo SSD, about 80 bucks on new egg, and some RAM. That's pretty much what I need for the rig right now. Um, oh, new motherboard, because the motherboard I've got now is great and all, but uh, it's limiting me graphics cards wise as to what I can do. Um, and I may may get a used like 960, 970 to go in there for the CUDA cores for when I do uh, uh, video rendering. And then I've got to go through Big D. I'm actually shrinking down uh, Big D's case a little bit. Um, so that I can fit Big D uh, uh, under my desk. Uh, I'll be doing all of that. I'll be doing a huge, great big project Big D update um, here soon. Um, so yeah, look forward to seeing that, guys. That'll be pretty awesome. In fact, I'm going to be doing a lot of welding in that video. So yeah, that'll be fun. So I'm going to need my mask, my welding gloves, a whole bunch of other things. Well, I'm going to use the restroom, so, but I'm going to end the vlog here, and the next update, it will probably be us at uh, the airport. So uh, until then, guys, I'll see you in the next clip. Hey, guys. Vlog update. We are now at Salt Lake City International Airport. We are parked in parking space Echo 9 on level 1. So, yeah, we got an hour and change, 30 minutes. We got 30 minutes before she's supposed to land. Yeah, 30 minutes until my girlfriend's flight lands. And am I nervous? Do you see the camera shaking? I don't know. I ain't nervous at all. I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> I'm not ready, guys. No, you are a little nervous. Balls of steel. I'll take pictures when they meet. I'll bet you there's teardrops on his cheeks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There was when you first met me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. Be silent. I ain't gonna be, be fucking silent. Be quiet or I'll flick you. <laughs> hey, we guys. Yeah, I um, just wanted to let you guys know we've got it here. I wouldn't say relatively unscathed douche canoe freaking semi truck driver pulls out at a fucking it, 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 in it at an intersection 
where, where he can clearly see us. We've got right of way and he still pulls out. We almost rammed into him and then some stupid freaking douche canoe pulls out in a freaking SUV. Literally damn near like half her, her, her vehicle is in the road that we're in the lane we're in before she sees us and we literally had to swerve to avoid smacking into her. And then now I'm pretty sure some of you guys know the sort of people I'm talking about, but I absolutely fucking detest the person that turns on their indicator for a second and cuts like through six lanes of fucking traffic, you know, and think they can squeeze their fucking car through a, a, a gap that a Mini Cooper would have to do a hundred point turn just to get through, and, and, and they only get through because the other person that they would have hit is so shit scared that they're about to get hit that they've hit their slam their brakes which causes everyone else to brake check along the way you know and it just turns into a huge fucking clusterfuck you know all because some moron couldn't move his fucking finger one measly fucking inch you know it's right fucking there move your fucking finger one measly fucking inch you lazy bastards. <laughs> you know, click, hold it. Click, 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 click as you're changing each lane individually. Not click for one second and that's an instant fucking magical fucking teleport. Click, click to the other side of the fucking highway, you douchebags. <laughs> you self centered, egotistical fucking. Ugh. <laughs> You're the sort of moron that I literally pray fucking flips their car Matrix style and gets pancaked by a fucking rogue Agent Smith. <laughs> fucking douche canoes. <laughs> You're laughing, but you you I, wish I, it too. I, I agree. She wishes it too. Because they're just like, I'm more important than you. <laughs> and the arseholes that... that the, the, the lane hop just before traffic light it's like this lane's going faster hop over now this one hop over now this one hop over now that one hop over halfway forgetting to move their finger one measly fucking inch I don't have to indicate yeah you do your car has blinkers for a fucking reason use them and you won't piss off me that will pull out a fucking Beretta, put it to your temple, and deal with your problem. And no, this isn't road rage, because I'm not driving. Do you see the steering wheel? It's over there. This isn't a British car. If this was a British car, the steering wheel would be fucking here, and then yes, it would be considered road rage. This isn't road rage. This is just one innocent bystander's point of view of how douche canoes don't move their fucking finger one measly inch. You're the sort of dude, okay, whose girlfriend is fucking your gardener, okay? And I'm serious. Ever wonder why your kids have a darker skin tan than you, mate? Yeah, it's not because they play out in the sun. Uh oh, what? I gotta find that parking ticket. It's right there. But you've got to admit, that is some lazy fucking driving. If you do not move your finger a fucking measly inch, your hand is on a fucking steering wheel. You just go click up for right, click down for left. One measly fucking inch. One. One. You know, the size of your penis. One fucking inch. And if you're a woman and you drive like that, fuck you. Okay? Fuck you and your shriveled up ovaries. Okay? Plain and fucking simple. There is literally no fucking reason to drive like a complete and total cunt. Be respectful of the people fucking behind you. There's a reason why. You want to know why? Because if you're not looking, wham, right in your fucking anus. And all of a sudden, your precious fucking brand new douche canoe fucking car is fucking an accordion. 
And your back seat is sitting in your front seat, and where are you? Sitting through your fucking windshield. All because you didn't fucking pay attention and use your fucking indicator. It's not hard, people. It's not fucking rocket science. Oh, and see these little, see these things here? Do, do, do you see these? Do you see these fucking things right here? They're called mirrors. They're magical, wonderful things that open up to a magical, wonderful portal called rear view. So you can see what's behind you. So that when you do move your finger that one measly fucking inch, you look over at your magical portal that leads behind you. So you can see the person looking at you, flipping you off as you instantly go one lane, two lane, three lane, four lane, five six lane, six, hot potato, seven lane, eight lane. Just stop. Stop, Jack Rabbit! Right? Stop with the bunny hop. Stop with the whole hop. Hop it, hop it, hop it, hop it, hop it, hop Just stop. It's not hot potatoes, okay, motherfucker. You're in a goddamn car doing 70 plus miles an hour, okay. First things first. Slow your fucking roll. Use your fucking use, use your sausage, okay. See this? See this? This is called a sausage. Use your fucking sausage. Move it up the fucking inch or down the fucking inch, depending on what lane you want to fucking go. Count to fucking five. Not one, two, three, four, five. You count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. And if you're clear to move while looking at your magical fucking portals in all three fucking spots, then you can merge lanes. You should have learnt this in Driver's Ed. Hell, you should have learnt this in fucking Grand Theft Auto, or Gran Turismo, or fucking uh, pole F1 pole position on the fucking Atari 2600. You fucking cunts. But no, I'm the story in and I drive a Cadillac. No, you're a fucking idiot that just overpaid for the present of Buick. Fucking morons. Cadillacs, Cadillac, Buick, Spirit. They're made in the same fucking factory by the same fucking sweatshop workers. All they change is the sticker on the fucking hood. You blind shit. Oh, we put a Cadillac sticker on this car. We can charge them an extra $20,000 for it. Anyway, so Captain Douche Canoes. And I know all the people that are gonna thumbs down this video because I just literally destroyed your driving style. But I like, it's a cool driving style. No, it's not. There's a reason why your fucking insurance premiums are through the roof, or correction. My insurance premiums are through the roof because you're too fucking stupid and too fucking lazy to learn to drive. Or worse, you don't have insurance. Fucking cocksuckers. You're a fucking shame. Fucking shame on you. Fucking shame. Well, 20 minutes, so end of the, the video. Next video, you're probably going to see my comfy one thing. So, until then, ciao.